Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> so we've got a fantastic Hiya. hour ahead. We had a, a little bit of extra time together, which was nice. That, that Groundhog Day, was <laughs> it? Like Groundhog that day. Bing, here we are again. Uh, for anyone who has Time's just tuned in, <laughs> you're more than welcome. So we have got Hiya. very nicely done because a lot of the theme on the show today, it is all about time. It is. Great theme. So we're in a loop right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Groundhog Day. Uh, look, what we have on the show, and this is what I think makes Clarity such a special company because we've got the most beautiful dyes, the most beautiful stencils uh, we're not leaving you out if you love your stamps because obviously that's where it all began for you yes. and then we've got the groovy as well so something for absolutely everyone but every cool product we're already busy for everything I hope so just saying 10% of you. the stock of the dies has gone uh, I tell you what we'll let you get set yeah, okay. and then Barbara and myself will have a wonder okay, see you in a moment Brilliant. So 10% of the dyes have already I'm not gone. Surprised. And we say, if you have just tuned in, we had a few minutes with Paul because the previous show finished earlier than expected. So we got to see a little uh, demonstration there. Yeah, a little preview. They are beautiful. I love this dye. Mm. It's so, it's so uh, versatile yeah. for gentlemen's cards, for guys' cards, uh, for steampunk, for yeah. mixed media. Well, you can, you make can it see very it feminine here. as well. Exactly. Sure. So it's cut yeah. out of black here. And then when you turn it over, look white on oh. black. It looks so nice, just as a paper cut, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and that's I, where I'm, fresh I really cuts began. love this. Because you, yeah. you, you had a passion for paper cuts. I do. And the thing with paper cuts traditionally, it is there's a steep learning curve, and also it takes time. It does indeed. Fresh cuts give you that illusion with one pass through your cut machine. Yeah, and, and also machine. our quality, the quality of our dyes is second yeah. to none. What yeah. did, and I know that was something you you spent a lot of time ensuring that you you made sure the quality was absolutely first rate, yes. which all your all your stuff is. What surprised me, Barbara, when we saw uh, Paul working with the dye, he pulled it away, is just how intricate and delicate that, That's that right. work is. That's right. Yes. Yeah. But you mentioned about the fact it is great for guy cards. And you're absolutely right, but you can still go very pretty, oh, pretty. Yeah, I mean, this is from D. Entirely on the colour that, that you lovely? use. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so soft, here we are, feminine. gold paper. Isn't that beautiful? That's yeah, a gift absolutely box. stunning. That is. Awesome. So, so what that clock face does, what yeah. those cogs and clocks do for you, uh -huh. she said very carefully, yeah. is um, they give you a beautiful kind of a mesh in the background, yeah. a meaningful mesh, nice. which is gorgeous, isn't meaningful it? Meaningful mesh. We've got to get through some of these because we have. Oh, really this is nice. nice. I know Paul I love loved the too. colorways here. Uh, this is from isn't uh, that Sheila. Gorgeous. There you go, Sheila Metzler. Beautiful. Again, I like that a lot. And you can see the stamp in the background mm -hmm. of Big Ben. Let's start now thinking outside the box. It's another one from Sheila. And suddenly she's gone very steampunk. So using yeah, those elements. Yeah, so she's taken the elements clever. and turned them into a butterfly. How clever is that? That's creative. I think That's that Sheila. Is incredibly creative. Isn't that Sheila? Nice? Genius. Or how about this from Maria? With the, that is elegant. I like that too. Craft so card. she's cut that out of a craft card and then she's dropped the some vintage the papers behind paper in the background yeah just a book isn't it a German yeah. book and we talk about uh, the snippability another one from Sheila so just taking the little elements there we go and you can see in the background she's used the stencil she's embossed the stencil so you that can see it it's so subtly. subtle but it looks so elegant because the stencils are quite a thick stencil our stencils yeah. are really robust yeah they emboss beautifully through a die cutting yeah. machine well how about this one that's a nice one yeah, I love one that from Sheila. nice Arty, so you're going into the grungy realm now. Oh, speaking of grungy, there you go, D Paramore. Paramore. How Ooh. nice is that? You see, so you paper piece elements. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Stunning. Fourteen Bits and pieces. You got some yeah. stamps going on there. Got it all going on. Fourteen ninety nine is your price, and we're three minutes into the show. A quarter of the stock. Of what? Gone. The dice. The dice. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you came. You I'm glad go. you're visiting and today. You're, you're in for a treat. So good mm. of you to join us. 14.99 your price there. 8.99 uh, 303 your item number. You can tell your mum you're very organised there. Yeah, like Me? That. Yeah. I was oh yeah. Say, very it's like my kitchen cupboards, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> now we've got some stamps that obviously designed to complement our dies perfectly. And it works beautifully. They do mix and match gorgeous. Uh -huh. um, if you have, look at this. This is stunning. How about that? Isn't that something I mean, that's special? That's next level. Look that at that. That's next here. level. You're looking for a name. I am. There, I can't. Oh, there oh, we there go. It it's a Wendy. Wendy Thorburn. How yeah. did I know it? I knew it was going to be Wendy. Look, I love it. On the side, she's put the stamp of the, cl the clock face from Big Ben, and and the and the the hand well, is little brad movable. That you can move. Isn't that gorgeous? Very cut. And, and she's used that so intelligently. That on its own makes a beautiful card. There you go. And then she's got Big Ben there, and then she's dropped the the, the face to the back. 
So a really nice. Iconic very, very nice image. Indeed. This will never date. Big Ben will hopefully no, always be it, here. Yeah, I, well, yeah. I hope what so. I hope it comes out soon yeah, yeah, to well. play. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, we've got this one from Maria. Now, this is nice because... That's lovely, too. Suddenly going very modern. Yeah, abstract. So, yeah, so she stamped and then she spritzed. And so all those elements. What I love about the stamp set, if we may just look at the stamp set. Yeah, please. You see it's got so many cogs and pieces, uh, clock pieces. So you can create your own clock because you've got the hands here. You've got Big Ben. So it's backgrounds, it's mm -hmm. foregrounds, it's elements, it's assets. There's so much going on Ooh. in this set. In How much is it? It's yes, good price. I have to say, you can feel the quality in your hand just holding it up. Yeah, substantial. They're waiting. Yes. You know, and they th the thickness of clarity stamp. This is for, I know 99% of people watching right now already know uh, the quality, but if you may be new to Hochanda, just have a look at the thickness yeah. that you are getting with nice. these stamps. They, they work beautifully, because I'm a potter. Yeah. I'm, I love pottery. Yeah. They, these, um, you can press them into clay absolutely Ooh. magnificently. They, they, they work Beautiful. incredibly well. Yeah. All right. uh, and we've lost 10% of the stock of this option. So if you do want to get hold of it, You'll $19.99 like stamps, your price. 14 stamps in total, 901 312, your item number. All right, now, Barbara, we're going to move on to stencils. And yeah. I know you are a huge advocate of stencils oh, yeah. because they're just so versatile. Oh, and, and also, again, we've got four in the set and they're all tiny time specific yeah. special price on them very beautiful and yeah. i'm going to show you a trick how to overlay them oh shall i show you the artwork yeah, that yeah I, please do right, i've got to show you this because i was gonna so we're getting all four of these you for get all 14 four 94. yes my goodness yes. that's a good price yes Wow. So yesterday I was running around at home yeah. and in my hallway I've got I've got a few like art samples uh -huh. and I, and then I saw this and oh, I thought wow. oh hang on a minute that looks familiar because obviously i've been oh. prepping and i thought so I grabbed it off the wall and yeah. I brought it with me because I thought Papa, it would be interesting to show you how you can overlay stencils as well. That gives so I wanted to such show you depth. how that works. Oh, yeah, it's very, very that. simple. But how you can take two little stencils yeah. and then create a really nice wall art piece, well, actually. Oh, if you're home, and this is from your actual home, and it shows yeah, how yeah. much you do love everything yeah, that you Yeah, yeah, I just grabbed it off the yeah. wall, so there's a big gap that. now on the wall. So you could be having this in your home, if you like the look of that, and we will be showing it. It'll be one of our demonstrations there. Uh, let me just pass that back to you, Barbara. So go. you're getting all four of these stencils for the price of three. I say because they are clarity stencils, you know instantly the quality is there. And when yeah. we talk about quality, that suddenly means that we can emboss with them too. Draw paste through them. Yes. All the different techniques. Because the thing with a stencil, oh, yeah. you can spritz. Very versatile. Uh, and I know watching you, you'll spritz, you'll turn over, and then you'll get that uh, faux stamped effect in there as well. It's all about building up the detail. And although they're fine, because they're fine, even though they're robust, the Mylar yeah. is a good, thick quality, yeah. um, you'll see in a minute, I'm going to start Love brushing that. through them. Look at that. Yeah, Sam Crow, so. she's going to be in the building here imminently. Uh -huh. But you can see that when you overlay those stencils, you can use them as backgrounds or you can use them as centerpieces, but you can see exactly how it works here. Well, let's think about this, because technique-wise, and I'm going to start just showing you some examples. Oh, these are incredible. Yeah. So there's no name nice, on this, they? but I really like that. Check this one out. Is that, see, then it's dropped to the yeah. background here. Isn't that gorgeous? This is uh, Elaine. Elaine Milner's, and you can see how arty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, how about that as a background, a subtle background? And like, this is one of my favourite stamps of yours. Yeah, I think that's, that's such it. a nice stamp. Isn't that lovely? But you see how we, we've suddenly created the illusion of depth, really drawing the eye in, and then you've got your feature. I think that is phenomenal. And then, look, this is Carol Pease. Absolutely gorgeous. So she's used it as a Christmas Ooh. element. Now, isn't that good? Look, Christmas time. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, the, the whole yeah. team think that's incredible. Yeah. Isn't that well, what about this? Now we've gone in a different direction coming through. Oh, yeah. That is lovely, it, well, isn't I mean, it? That's that looks nice. like a Sheila Metzler kind of thing, but I can't there see it. There is black. D. 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 Paramount. Sorry, D. Sorry. It's a D sort of thing. There you go. Uh, 14.94 is your price. Let's show a few others. Uh, I did pick this one up. If you caught our little uh, extra, you had some extra time. We are rapidly approaching 20% of the stock with this, Barbara. Look at that. I love it. Look at That's this one. That's from Sam. That's from Sam Crow. Check this one out. So this is where the stamp, the stencil, sorry, becomes a stamp and it's embossed. And then I think this is Dee's work. She's created a background, a landscape in the background. See the sea? See the sea? I can see Time the and sea. tide. I think the clue's in the word tide, wait for no ah, man. And may I say, these, that stencil is designed by our good friend Mel Turner. Oh, so you yeah. know. The, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the cartographer. Yeah. Mm. How about this? 
that cool, nice? And this is uh, one I know you love that stamp as I well. I love the cocker. Yeah. Uh, 1494 your price. You're saving 498. Very, very, very busy for cool. everything. Absolutely everything. Nice. Uh, okay, we are going to move on. So there's our stencils, and I know Barbara, you've got a great demonstration for these. I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Groovy. There you go. Now, these I'm a gorgeous. massive, massive fan of Groovy. Uh, the inspirations are staggeringly good. So what are we getting with these plates? Well, if we look up? at these plates first, we've got a pair of plates here, which mm -hmm. is all about the different elements. You can see the stencil artwork here, yeah. and then you can see all the different, the clock, clocks yeah, and cogs, cogs yeah. and over here you can see the clock faces yeah, yeah. and uh, look the, the, this, the just these little elements yeah, is packed mm -hmm. with different pieces so you can mix and match it so beautifully nice but then when you start putting the elements together here's the thing now please don't be daunted by this if you're just starting out but if you are, are experienced with groovy this gives look you an idea that, of where you can go gorgeous this oh. is absolutely a masterpiece isn't i love it? how she's added that chain in yeah, there as well yeah 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 so there's other elements she's dipped into a stash this is nice this is lovely check this one out josie, josie. davidson so she's made it like a like an like opening a gatefold a, yeah isn't that lovely and then inside i love that isn't That's that nice and it goes Make back a lovely to the, man's card, the connota that one. connotations. How about this, uh, Chris Walker? Yep. Just showing you. Isn't that gorgeous? And I like how she's yeah. used the brads not only to secure it, but made it into a feature. Love that. Okay, Beautiful. so those are the plates. That's our groovy system. That's it. Fourteen thirty-eight. And is that for both? That's a freedom membership. Barbara, 1438 for both is that's such good, good isn't it? for money. Should we, that's oh, good. is that coming up? We're going to show that in just a moment. I think that's coming yeah. up, isn't it? Oh, up. no, that's this one. Is Look, this one? is a, okay. I'm just trying to find the on-off button for the light. Isn't okay. that a gorgeous idea? Look, it's a, a clock. That's very good. And obviously, isn't that lovely? It, it works. Just works. There's well. a light. I just can't find the on switch. But okay. I will. Right. I'll sort <laughs> it out by the end of the show. We got, we're here at four o'clock and eight o'clock. No, no, I will right. have okay. it sorted by then. Right, details on your screen there for a Groovy. We've got one more option with Groovy, and this is our larger uh, Groovy plate. Again, sticking with the same theme, we're just going to put the details up onto your screen. Uh, you can see 14.99. Now, that is a big plate. That's the, You're yeah, getting a lot of the, elements the going clock through. The pieces and all the cogs and that Big Ben wow. face. I just think this is spectacular. Come Again, on, the at whole at aspect of Groovy is that you can mix and match it. You take the elements. Can, oh, I thought but you isn't that those. a gorgeous thing? Yeah, it you looks can, like I just, it could. I could, but I just bent it. You couldn't. Okay. Uh, or how about this from Ronk? How elegant is that? Oh, wow. Yes, there you are. Is that the right way around? I think it's can I just have a look? Yeah, what does it look? say? Oh, Step hen. Stephen. Stephen. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, normally that's Thank what we you do. Loki. Uh, <laughs> Step hen. Oh, uh, how about this? It's <laughs> that's normally me doing that, Barbara. I'm glad someone else has done it. Uh, okay. And let me just show you a couple yeah. more. That was a card for Stephen. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I mean that is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Who's that one? So that's uh, Carol, Carol P again. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. One. Sorry, that was by Jane. I didn't read that out. Thank you, Jane. Okay, fourteen ninety nine is time. your price if you want to get hold of that. Yeah. Uh, okay, we've got a video just to showcase uh, just some of the most beautiful examples that you can make with everything on the show. Enjoy this. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start playing with our dies now. Very busy for our dies. We are indeed. So I did this one in the little prelude before the show. Yeah. So I thought what we'd do for people that wasn't aware we was on a little bit earlier, then I would just repeat that just to show yeah. uh, where we go. Ooh, there we go, that okay. way. 
Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, sort of just use some of our designer paper, yeah. just laid over the top. Lovely. Okay. okay. So where do we start? So we're going to use some of our car blanks. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the 5x5 five five white aperture, um, mm -hmm. white car blanks we've got on the show. And then all I'm going to do is just decide where I want to put my die. Okay. So we're going to position that in the middle there. I'm mm going -hmm. to run it through our die cutting machine. And what I love about our dies, I, mean, well, I say what I love, there's so many different elements to them. They've got the special blue coating, mm -hmm. which makes it easy to release yeah. from the card. Um, because I remember when we first introduced our dies and um, we got the prototypes through, and I said, well, these are fantastic. Went, but all dies do that, don't they? I said, well, what do you mean? So she went, they just fall out. I went, no. Yeah. I said, you could spend 10, 15 minutes getting all the different yeah. pieces out. Yeah. Um, so and she was really see Bar this now. Barbara didn't have sort of uh, wasn't aware of sort of um, dyes. Um, so we're just going to gently peel that off. Okay, and that was something that so Barbara had been looking to bring dyes for a while, but she was only prepared to do it if she could maintain the sort of quality that you yeah, associate exactly. with the stamps and, and everything else. And it's all about bring. Um, Barbara's always loved the sort of like the paper cut effect. Yeah. Um, and so we, when we looked look into the dyes, you, so you can see look. Absolutely perfect. So I'll just give you that, Yanis, just yeah. to hold up against your shirt. Have a look at the de I mean, beautiful detail, and it's just cut like an absolute dream. So if you wanted to then take it that step further, if you want to put the designer papers behind, or if you want to yep. make it part of the designer papers, the we've got 12 so by 12 so are great for creating sort of luxury yeah. inserts. So you can see now that die is completely pristine. Got two little bits there. Yeah. So just use that, use that. That's so. it, all clean. Nice. Okay. But if that was um, other dyes that I've used in the past, I'd still be doing that while we're yeah. talking. Um, it would take a long time to sort of get that out. Okay, I'll leave that there for you. Okay, so what I want to do now is put a beautiful frame around it. Mm -hmm. So what I love about our designer papers is I'm looking at um, Shenandoah, so we'll probably have to, we haven't got an overhead on this one. So what I can do, if I get you to grab the black die yeah. cut one, Yanis, oh, sorry, on okay, one that's okay. cut yeah. out, because what we can do is just sort of overlay the black aperture. So if we wanted to create an insert on the inside, then Ooh. you can see and you just can move by moving it around. it around. So that would look fantastic on this Brilliant. yellow area. Look at that. Ooh. Doesn't it change it? just by changing the different like papers that. behind it. Yeah, beautiful. That's gorgeous. So what we're going to do, we're going to just have a quick flick through here. Okay. So we've got the... the well, like the other that. side as well, because you get that sort of muted... The more softer ways, tone. Yeah. This is a really nice one as well. It's nice. That be and blues. just going from that colourway changes the whole feel. It does. It looks it? completely different. And yeah. again, if you die cut from black or you die cut from um, white card, it changes it as well. Yeah. Well, I like this one really nice it, because you've yeah. got that beautiful landscape in there from the Shenandoah that Barbara's created Lovely. so it adds that effect onto it so I li love this one as well Wonderful. this one here look at that Ooh. and then you move beautiful. it around and you yeah. just pick up so what we'll do Kay. we'll just choose one of these I'm going to go with this one I really like this colorway so we've got the um, 8x8 designer papers on a pick and mix option mm -hmm. where you actually get a free folder as well or a bonus folder mm -hmm. as we like to call it and then all I'm going to do, I'm going to decide now what area I want to sort of go okay. into. So I'm going to go sort of a little bit of dark and a little bit of light. Nice. And then I'm going to use my nested circles to create a nice outer frame around it. I could drop it down to get a different finish from it. Yeah. But I reckon we'll go about there. Okay. Okay. We're just going to tape those in place. So what I love about this is that you can do quick and easy cards. So if you yeah. want to do notelets for someone, notelets fantastic. Um, it's yeah. a really good thing to do. Because they're quick, mm. you could just spend an hour, and you can imagine how many you could cut out in an hour. Yeah. Um, and then you could do different um, papers on top or just on the inserts. So we're just going to run that through there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pop that off. Okay. And again, you'll just see how easy. There's the nested circles just come off. Mm. And then as I lift this off, mm. you'll just, I mean, even that, the reverse of it, that's what I love about the papers, because you've got the double-sidedness to it. Mm. So you've got that beautiful piece now. So we're going to pop yeah. that to one side. So there's one side. And then if I whip that around. It looks completely different. Yeah. And if you was just to put that, say, for example, onto just a white card, mm. So you can see the difference. 
So again, you just cut out on different papers, but it just changes it completely, doesn't it? I like that, yeah, nice. Really nice. Okay. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna overlay this on top. Okay, so we work out where it's gonna go. Then I'm just gonna use um, like a quickie glue pen or a zig glue pen. Yeah. And then just put some, what I love about sort of using sort of like a wet glue is it gives you more versatility to be able to just move around when you're positioning mm. it in place. Mm. Okay, so a few little dots of glue. Okay. And then can I come in? just put that on there. So that's in place. And then we'll turn that over. And now we can just put it directly over the top, or what we might do is create a little bit of a, a yeah. drop shadow. A See, highlight. so we can just offset that slightly. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you're sort of doing shadow stamping, you sort of, you yeah. just go down and just move it down slightly to create just a little drop shadow. Nice, like that. Around there, on yeah. there. And it looks really nice. If we hold that up now, mm. um, you'll see, if I pop, we we'll just fold that in half. That's such a strong image. And what have we done? We've just literally die just cut die twice. Cut two pieces, a piece of card and one of the card blanks. That's and it. Then I think and how good that does that look? And that, that, from the simplest form, you could be doing, if you've just started crafting, you could make this card. Yeah. If and obviously you're more experienced, you can take some. Oh yeah, time. exactly. And it's got that snip ability to mm. it as well. You can cut areas away to open up if you wanted, if you've got the stamps that we've got on the show, oh, yeah. the big bend behind it. Yes. So you'd open it up a little bit. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll put one of Barbara's barbarisms on there. Yeah. Um, you can so find we've got the words these on the, on the show. Website. So what are you um, thinking? I think you've got 460 in the booklet. So I think we'll go for all you need is love. Oh. So there then we'll just position that mm -hmm. down there. And we've got the words on your screen right now, Eleven ninety nine. your price, 460 stickers. I know you're getting them in white and black as well. Yep. So yeah, and I've now got two cards now for You've my little collection. In a couple of minutes. Yeah. Really quick. They look fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to show you some uh, more examples of what you can achieve. We are a third of the stock of the dies, proving extremely popular. Have a look at this. And the thing is, third of the stock of the dies, you guys got three shows today. We have. Yes, we're back on at four <laughs> and <to> eight. <laughs> okay, so, you know, a little bit worrying uh, in the sense that I don't know how much stock we're going to have in the next hour. How about this? But, okay. See, again, it just, it's all about, oh. I mean, D, so it's D that on this one. Very yeah, D something. And she's used those beautiful stencils in the background. So you've got yes. that coordination where it all mixes and matches. Do you know what D's done there? It gives the illusion of fireworks. Yes. You've seen so through the window, so um, New Year's. Stamp. Yeah. Yep. That's an allium stamp she's used on there. Sheila now, going a bit Gorgeous, more gritty, really grungy, grungy sort of met metallic more, isn't yeah. it, to give it that effect. The background, using the dyes with the stencils and the yeah, stamps, when you start using everything, there. that's nice. Well, how about this? Another one Not from one. Sheila. And again, this is where the snippability comes in because mm -hmm. what Sheila's done is she's created that beautiful background and then used the mm -hmm. die cut out on metallic cards to add little embellishments on there. Now, do you have that one person in your life that you really struggle to make a card for? How about that? Because I think you could give that to anyone. Yeah. Isn't that nice? $14.99 your price. This is by Maria. Eight nine nine two uh, three zero three. your item number. I'm going to show you the die. So here's the die in all this glory. $14.99 your price. Eight nine nine three zero three is your item number. If you do want to pop it into your basket, uh, we are proving, uh, well, we are very busy for our die. And I'm not surprised because when you see the examples, the possibilities, the quality that you get with clarity, fresh cut, it is an absolute win. I think $14.99 is an utter bargain. So there's the die for you. I uh, want to talk about the stencil. So we're going to be playing with these in just a moment. And again, they are proving immensely popular. Have a look at that price. $14.94. You are getting all four of these phenomenal stencils. So effectively, you're getting four for the price of three. But it is, I mean, here showcasing beautifully the possibilities. So whether you wanted to pull it into the foreground and make it your real feature, uh, make it a work of art, you can see that there from Sam Crow. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Or are you going to pull it into the background and use it with something else? You've got so many different directions you can go. And as they're stencils, let's think about this because we can emboss with them. We can spritz with them. We can use our 
our inks we can use uh, if you've got your structure paste there you can use your structure paste your glitter paste the possibilities are endless have some fun and come up with inspirations like this there we go this is from Sam just showing you you can go very whimsical oh with D Paramore now oh D Look at that, it looks aged and so much character uh, going on. This is beautiful, wait till you see this one. Uh, this is from uh, Deb. Oh, I, lo I love that. So now just giving you that frame uh, for your toppers. Or what about, this is a lovely one too. Uh, another one from Deb. I love how you've positioned your little character just sat there on your pocket watch. So look, possibilities, over 30% of the stock has gone. Remember, you are getting all four of these. They are not options. You're getting all four of those for $14.94. You can find them on our website. So do have a little look uh, on the website. Uh, you can see that we've got lots of possibilities there. Have a little explore, shop by brand, Clarity. Just type it in and you'll be able to see all the goodies. We've got the uh, same designs reflected in the stamps, the dies, the stencils, and of course, Groovy as well. So do have a little look and have an explore. Now things are heating up in the studio, so we'll get the aircon for you, Barbara. Would you like the aircon? Yeah, I'm on? having one of my yeah. little personal summers here. Yes, okay. We'll get, I we'll thought sort I was of, over that time. I was over that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll sort that out now. Good. Uh, right, what are we going to do? I thought we'd have a look at that one yes. from my hallway. Because it's simple and it's using just two, two stencils overlaid on top of one another. So I want to show you a couple of tricks, just yeah. very, very simple. This is for somebody who has never done any artwork yeah. at all. If you're just watching, just surfing the net and you've yeah. come, stumbled across us, I want to show you that you can produce something like this with just a few little ingredients. See, Barbara, I, I think that that's is, impressive. That is extremely impressive. Very simple. You wouldn't believe it. If I just gave that to you without watching what Barbara's about to do and said, do this, you'd think, you no way. Won, you'd yeah. wonder how, yeah. Okay. So, so I thought it was good enough to frame. Yeah. You know. And it absolutely is. So I totally uh, let's have a look at the stencils. And what I'm going to use here is mm -hmm. the Time and Tide Wait for mm -hmm. No Man, which yeah. is gorgeous. And then I'm going to drop this in the background. All right. So let's have a look. I'm going to start with a piece of our stencil card. Mm -hmm. And I'll start with the time and tide wait for no man. I need to be able to read it because this is the front of the card. Mm -hmm. If you were pulling a gel press, if you yeah. were doing a print, uh, see, one of the advantages of always <coughs> putting the stencil on the card is at least that way you know it's going to be the right way round. Mm. If you were going to put it on a jelly plate, then you'd have to reverse it. Yeah. Because when you pull a print, it's in reverse. Yes. So what I'm doing now is I'm just making... A hinge? Just take a little... Yeah. Uh, uh, right, we're just going to pop that down. And we'll just make a little hinge at the top, mm -hmm. and then that way, to right, secure, it holds no, it. And yeah. it means that I can check my progress, I'll see what I'm doing. Yeah, nice. I'll take a piece of copy paper and drop that underneath, mm -hmm. and then enter my brushes. I just wanted to point out to everybody, yes. until you pick them up, the actual feel and quality of the stencil, very they're stencils. very good quality stencils. They yeah. are, they are. Okay, so brushes. brushes. Oh, these are great. These are dynamite. They really are. Um, and yeah. they're great for applying ink. So I'm using dye-based yeah. inks, uh -huh. and, and I just want to use a couple of brushes. Mm -hmm. um, there are four in a box. Yeah. We've got, I think we've got a special offer on these. So um, actually, set of eight for twenty nine ninety eight, and there look you at that. Go. So you buy one box, pounds. yeah, you get the second box half Very price, good, which yeah. is really good. Um, so the thing about these mm -hmm. is, one, they're washable. Two, the this is stainless steel, so it doesn't rust. Mm -hmm. And this is bamboo. The handle is bamboo, so nice. it doesn't rot. Good. And they're they're just beautiful for working with mm -hmm. inks. They will last. They do indeed. They do mm. indeed. So what I'm going to do is use artistry inks, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the artistry ink, and I'll start with a light colour. So old parchment, for example, mm -hmm. and you'll see. Let me show you with, with this with these artistry inks, just so that you understand. The lid is part of the actual. Um, it's great because yeah, it means so. that you don't lose the lid. If you're working with four or five different yeah. colours, you've got lids all over the place. That's true. Um, so the, the, it's great because you know exactly what you're looking at. What, what clinched it for me was the little lid in there. So you uh -huh. could put your blending um, sponges in there. I yeah. like that. Or, yeah. you know, from the nibs, the blending pens and yeah, that. I just yeah. put the yellow nib in there and what have you. These are, that's pretty cool. Perfect. And you don't lose the lid because it's mm -hmm. part of. And the other thing is that when you're using it direct to paper, for example, DTP, you don't get ink all over your hands, yes. which is handy too. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let's just flash the details. There is a pick and mix for our artistry inks. Once again, another fantastic saving. Ten pounds saving. Thirty-four ninety your price, and you get to pick a uh, set. Oh, you get to pick ten. Ten for thirty-four ninety. That's very good. 
Right, so I'm going. What you mean? The artist ink pads? They're yeah. excellent. Oh yeah, they're excellent. They're dye based, so they're they like Adirondacks, the old Adirondacks, the Ranger ones, uh, distress inks, that kind of water based yeah. dye based type of ink. Okay. They're very nice. They they react to water, water based. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to do now is put my hand on there, and I'm just going to brush. I'm just using a really light undercoat of okay. um, old parchment. Yep. So what that's doing is, see I just put my hand on there and all the time I'm just brushing backwards and forwards with the brush. This is a very light colour, it's what I'd call an undercoat. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that, you see, you can go round and round. If I was doing a darker colour, which I will, and, and I don't know if you'll even see this because it's so light. No, it's very light, but you, yeah, you can. Yeah, see, you so can. already we're getting a really nice, this is called old parchment. Mm -hmm. Then, let's take another colour. Let's see what I might have some on there. Let's take dry weed. So this is mm -hmm. uh, a lighter green. And what we're going to do now, again, hand down, and then you brush across the top. So what mm -hmm. you're doing is you're holding it in place while you're working, and you just start mm -hmm. sweeping the colours. So I'm going from light to a little bit darker. See how I'm going around the outside? So now I'm using dry weed. It's mm -hmm. a light, really lovely nice green. Colour. If you're thinking of buying you know, investing in four or five of these. How many is it for the pick and mix? Ten. Oh, I thought we had a set of five available as well. Mm. There is a set of five too. Uh, we'll, yeah. uh, it's either set That's of five cool. or set of ten. So you see how you're starting to build up oh, the yeah. colour now? Yeah, yeah. Now, if I wanted to, I could take a, a blue. Let's take mm -hmm. a blue and let's just change the colour up because they're like, they're like blending brushes. And what you'll see is, mm -hmm. as I start to add another colour over the top, what I'm also doing is I'm loading up the stencil. See how the stencil's getting in, Colin? Yeah, yeah. We'll use that in a minute. Okay. So Are now you deliberately trying to go sort of deep around the outside to create a vignette? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you'll see I'm changing the colour up a little bit. So when I lift this off now, we can check and you mm. can see now how it's starting nice. to come together. Right. Yeah. So let's just leave it there for the minute and let's take the second stencil and you literally are going to slot that in underneath the top one. You've got to keep the top one in place because that's mm. what that's where you maintains the, the whiteness of the words, isn't it? Yeah. Right. But what I'm going to do now is take another piece of masking tape to hold the bottom in place because we don't want yeah. this stencil to move now. So now Just we're layering that. our stencils, stencils on top of up. each other. Yeah, Kay. yeah we are. Kay. So now we've got another stencil underneath this mm -hmm. one. Got to so tell you that 40% of the stencils have gone and the reason why okay. that figure is so impressive is because this is Clarity, Paul and Barbara's first show of three today so they've got two more shows after this and the fact that we're approaching 40% is a massive indictment of just how good uh, the stencils are and how popular they are with everyone at home they're really resonating okay so now for example this is elegant emerald so I'm picking out different greens and I'll come in now and you'll see that I uh, see how I'm holding the brush a little bit further down mm. because I want to get in those gaps. So I'm going through two mm. stencils now. So you're just stiffening aren't it I? by holding it Precisely. Down. Yeah. And and so that it doesn't move around, I'm going around the outside. You know, like you said about a vignette. Yeah. Now I'm creating a vignette on the inside of that nice. cog, uh, that big wheel. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll see now in the middle I can chop and change, I can take the lighter colour, mm -hmm. I can run that through there. The the trick is to keep the the colour Nice. Keep the stencils yeah. uh, in place. place. See how good. I'm holding them with my fingers? Yeah. You can see I just w don't want it to move. And that's because you were saying we loaded up our stencils like as we were building up as well. Yeah. So you can use old ink pads, dry brushes. The reason I do this is just to check um, the colour before I start. Mm -hmm. And then I just, let's add a little bit of blue. And your another trick is if you, see how I'm just brushing in from one side now? Mm. What that does is it creates a drop shadow, you'll mm. see in a minute. Or maybe I'll come in from the top a little bit too and that will drop a shadow in. Right, and then I think it's all about the, you don't know what you're gonna get until you mm -hmm. take it all you out. Reel it, yeah. Now, do you remember I said that there's quite a lot of ink on yeah. the stencil? And what we can do now is we can sharpen up. I'm using, um, these are called spot-on sponges. Yeah. So they're like, they're like makeup sponges, but they're really, really good because they don't crumble as you work. A lot of yeah. makeup, it's cheaper stuff, yeah. it tends to start falling apart as you go. But you'll see what I'm doing. I'm mm. going around the inside because I want to define, don't so I, that cog yeah. in the background. And we're able to real blend in and so I'm just going, I'm twisting as I go, yeah. and you can see where I'm cleaning, can't you? You can see where I'm actually mm -hmm. cleaning the... 
Nice. Right, I reckon this is going to do it. Let's have a look. It might yeah. not be done, I've and I could always feeling. replace it, but I've got one I did earlier anyway. Yeah. So let's just have a look so you can see what I'm up to. And when I take these stents, so I take that one off, right, and you oh, can see oh, oh. how you've got one stencil oh, behind the other one. that is phenomenal. See? Do you mind if I pick that up? Can yeah, I just yeah, show go it? Is that okay? It. Now, yeah, have a look at this, the depth. Yeah. that you're able to achieve. So I'll just show this one and we'll show one that Barbara did uh, earlier on. That's it. That, that one is really much more like the one that's in from my hallway. I think right? that is beautiful. But you can see but how it works. It, you really get a sense of depth, how you've made the wording just come to the forefront. And then that one is exactly the same colours. All I've done is oh. dusted it at the end with yellow and yellow will completely make it ping. So if you yeah. want bright or if you've got yellow in your curtains, uh -huh. then just add a flash of yellow. Barbara, that let me is just show incredible. you something. Yeah, please let do. me just show you something absolutely interesting. If you, what I've done now is I've taken a pencil. This is where you settle down, make yourself a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and you see the words. Yeah. What you'll notice is if I show you the original, mm. you, let me just bring this in. You'll see actually that the letters have all been picked out. So yeah. this one's dropped in front of this one. Do you see? Oh yeah. The only way to do that, if yeah. I just pop that back, is to take a pencil. Right. Let me just take a piece of coffee paper so I don't lean on the work. Mm -hmm. And you'll see, now I've got to decide, if the T is in front, then all I'm going to do is come down here and you'll see, as I just outline and I decide, right, oh so the ampersand yeah. is at the back, Yeah. so then I just make sure it goes to the back and I just drop the letters in and you'll see as soon as I do that, that's what gives you that depth, that illusion of depth. As soon as you yeah. add the outline, that's the key. So it's a question of sitting down. Now, if that's that's the front, yeah. bring it to the front. Okay. That's all you've got to do is just go round yeah. and decide. If that's the back, take it to the back. Mm -hmm. Lovely. All done. Okay? Climate. Okay. Uh, so there we go. Those are the stencils, and that is the tip of the iceberg. I'm going to let you reset, and yes, we are going yes, to continue. Yes. Uh, let's just show you the stencils. They are proving extremely popular. Fourteen ninety-four your price. You're saving four ninety-eight. Uh, it's a great saving. Look, effectively, uh, you are paying for three and getting all four of these phenomenal stencils. Uh, three four five. 129 your item number there right we're having a busy show so you've just seen the possibilities with the stencils and that's the thing the stencils afford you so many different directions you can go so if you wanted to go quite gritty quite grungy fantastic if you want to go bright vibrant artwork for your home phenomenal as well there you go. You're popping in, Paul. It's obviously just having a little wonder. Uh, look, what I like, it's the size of the stencil. So you've got these sizes that you can take on artwork for your home, as uh, we've just seen with Barbara's artwork, or equally, uh, you can use them for your cards as well. What kind of techniques are we going to be employing? What kind of paints are you going to be using? Are you going to be using your inks? Are you going to be using your structure paste uh, in there as well? Just showing you. Uh, let's get some examples. Going through. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So we're going mat. What about this? Giving you an idea of where you can go. Uh, this is by Linda. Absolutely stunning. Or what about this? Party time. Going through this with Barbara. Barbara Lancaster. Uh, Got to move on. Uh, you just got so many possibilities with this. I'm a big fan of the stencils. Over half the stock has gone of our stencils. And this is only the first show of three because uh, Barbara and Paul have two more shows after this hour. So I really hope you're enjoying it. Uh, now we also have, uh, we have Groovy for you. The price on this is fantastic. Now take a look, 15.98. But look what happens if you're a Freedom member. Suddenly that price drops to 14.38. You are getting both of these, and I'm going to show you why it is so exciting, because the possibilities, you can see the design team have absolutely loved it. There's Josie. Ooh, love it. And you're getting such a wealth of imagery. So the pocket watch, the sands of time coming through, that sand timer. How about this one from Jane? Oh, that's very, I mean, that is classic groovy, and also works so well with what you already have in your groovy stash. Maybe, this is nice. From Ronk, that is just, love. I love how Ronk's used the softer, diffused colors of a designer paper there, and that is just very elegant, poignant. Or, if you really wanted to go to town on something, D showing you, whoo, 
Ooh, oh, have some fun. Fourteen thirty-eight is your price if you do want to get hold of these fabulous plates reflecting the design work. Uh, it's across the board. The whole thing is it's all about time. But with time, we can go steampunk, we can go gritty, we can go pretty. Uh, here you see that is such a strong inspiration. Look at that. So taking you that, that iconic image, uh, the sort of, oh, do you know what? You, if you have the designer papers there, imagine giving the illusion of that stained glass feel. $14.99 is your price. But then we can think outside the box because I think that's very clever from Jane. She's taken all the elements, but she started constructing her own images. I think that's lovely. Or what about this one from Carol? Beautiful colors, Carol really like that or how about this this is from sheila each one so different and that's a massive compliment to the plates i'll show you one more and i know we have to move on josie now very traditional groovy but absolutely stunning stunning 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price if you uh, want to go for this plate both options of the groovy plates work very well together let's jump onto the website as we have a little look and we're going to be playing with groovy right now with paul so if you do have any questions we would love to hear from you studio at hochanda.com but look at all those five star reviews and if any company is worth five star reviews it's absolutely clarity uh it's based of reputation on it Okay, what are we going to play with? Time to get groovy. Yeah. So I thought what we would do, we'd make this card here, Yannis. This is really nice. Really sort of nice and fresh. Um, and it just shows, for me, the versatility of the groovy, mm. you can pick and choose the different elements. Yeah. Um, and I've actually pico cut the little hands mm. as well. So they do move? Um, no? Don't move. No, kind of? a little bit, a little yeah. bit of movement on there. It's only because I saw one inspiration where we could move where them. I've tried yeah. to move them all now. I'd say probably the stamp ones would probably be more yeah. easier okay. to move because it's more solid. Yeah, all right. Okay, so where do we start? So mm -hmm. what I've done to start off with, I've used our Pico circles. Yeah. These would be nice. I'm just thinking if, you know, with the actual time, if yeah. you want to make a baby card and then you could put the precise time, the maybe time a new edition birth, was born. Yeah, yeah, or you could, if you're doing um, wedding invites, the time of the wedding. That's a great um, idea. Really, really good. Paul, that's so a really good idea, yeah. What I've done, I've, I've die cut from the Pico circle. Okay. Just and we've got the details parchment. for the Pico circles on your okay. screen. So it's nice and easy. Just run that through the machine mm -hmm. and you've got your centerpiece. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to pop my light panel on, which we've got on the show. Mm -hmm. So it's got three levels of brightness to it. Yep. Um, so I'm just going to go for the full brightness. Now I'm using the A4 square plate mate mm -hmm. that we've got on the show. It's a Celtic plate mate. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes in, what it does, it comes in two parts. You right. Imagine trying to post that out to somebody. Yeah. And it's not going to go through your letterbox no. and it's unlikely to arrive yeah. in one piece. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we turned it into two pieces yeah. and then I'm and just, just using the it. groovy tabs. Yeah to create my little hinges. Perfect. Okay, and then what that means is it folds in half and you can store it more easily. Mm, nice. Okay. Okay. So I've got that, and then we're gonna go with the clock face, okay. clock Face. faces, yeah. uh, A4 square plate, and pop okay. that just in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna use a tab just to hold it in place. We're gonna take our die cut mm -hmm. that we've used. Nice. And we're just gonna hold that in place. Perfect, so this is showing you why the nested uh, shapes are so valuable. And having that Pico, think how long it would take to do that. Yeah, exactly, and you wanna concentrate on your actual yeah. artwork, don't you? Well, we were saying, since you introduced the Pico, and they have revolutionized die casting the Pico cut dies, now the design team Everything, you say, matte and layers, pico, pico, pico. Yeah, because it's easy and it's great because you can actually pico cut cards yeah. and paper which as well. Which is extremely which hard, do, if yeah. not, you know, impossible. Okay, so what I'm going to yeah. do, I'm using the um, number one from the starter kit tool. Mm -hmm. um, and all I'm going to do, if you're new to Groovy, you just press into the design. Yeah. Okay, and I'm using the Groovy guard to lean on. Nice. So I can decide all the different elements. So if I don't want to put all that detail in place, I don't have to. Mm -hmm. If I just want a layer of circles, then I pick and choose exactly yeah. what I want. So then you're just going to follow it around and the groovy guard holds it in place and stops it. And we've taped it down, but it just, it's easier. Mm. And not going to do, I, I prefer to turn my work whilst I'm working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, it's good. Um, because my hand's comfortable in the position here. 
Okay, and then we're going to go around and trace that. Now, it, you can imagine that will take a little while to trace out. Mm. So what I'm going to do is jump to one that I've already traced out. Okay, but you've shown um, what we'd be doing. Yeah, but it, it's so simple. See, even this centerpiece I love here, that beautiful mandala effect. I mean, you mm. imagine you could cut out different layers of it. You can build up. So when you look at the plate, don't look at it. Look at it in different ways because Break you can it down, pick deconstruct. Yeah, because that you could just pico cut that with one of the circle yeah. dies, put that on it, and it's beautiful flower. Yes. Um, and then you've got all the various different cogs on there as mm -hmm. well, and then you've got the proper sort of clock face. Lovely. Okay. So we'll just take that off of there. And if I give you that one, Yanis, to hold up against that black mat, you'll see sure. what I've started to do is do a little bit of white work on there as well. Okay. Isn't that nice? Oh. But that, so we're looking at the back of it from what we're doing there. When we turn it over, you'll see how the white work starts to sort of just come in in that area there. That, I mean, the detail on there is lovely. And you're very generous, Paul, by uh, not pointing out I was holding it backwards. Just we'll look at the back <laughs> of it. But I mean, the detail is exquisite on this. It's I it's and so what I love about the groovy system, it's, I think one of the things I love about the groovy system and the dies yeah. is that you're always going to get the same result time and time again. Yeah. Because you put the die through the machine and you will always get that crisp clean cut. You'll trace out your design once you get into the groovy system, you trace it out and it's easy to repeat yeah. the designs again and yeah. again. So what I wanted to do is a little bit of sort of white work um, just to complete it mm -hmm. on here. So for me, what I love is my pink mat. Yeah. So this is the Pergamano embossing mat. So excellent. excellent mat, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we're going to work on the back. I'm mm -hmm. going to bring my little um, groovy guard into place because nice. what it does, it allows me to concentrate on the areas. Yeah. Now, when we're talking about white work, what we're doing is we're stretching the parchment, but we're stretching it freehand, okay? So you've got to learn the control that you don't put too much pressure yes. on, okay? So it's what where I, the mat really helps us it, as well. For me, it does personally, because I'm impatient and heavy-handed, um, I want to sort of really sort of get it white. Mm -hmm. So what I've done, I've already put a couple of layers on already, and I'm using the, on the um, new starter kit we've got on the show, which yeah. is the new Deluxe starter kit, um, all the tools in there are now numbered. Okay. So I'm, we've got the number three. Yeah. And we've got the number four. Lovely. I use the number one and the number two. Yes. To trace out with. Okay. Okay. Would you say, and this is just for the benefit of anyone starting out, that a real key point is allowing that parchment to rest? Yes. So what you need to do is when you're doing the white work, I've, this was done the other night, so it's been sort of rested. So now what it means is I can go in and as I, I, I'll do some of it just mm -hmm. so that you can sort of see the difference. And I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on. Now with a circle, you don't go round in a circle because what happens, you get like a donut effect. Yeah, it's a little dimple. Um, yeah, so you go up and down, left mm -hmm. and right, and then round. Mm -hmm. And then you would go in with the next size down. So I'm going in with the number three. But again, you would let this rest in between each of the layers. Mm -hmm. But what I love is that it's a small area, so it's great to practice on as well yeah. if you're new to it. Good technique. And you can pick and choose the area. I mean, you could do all this in white work because there's some beautiful shading on there, which I'm sure some of the design team have done. Mm. Um, so then when we turn this over now, okay, we can start to see, um, if I hold this up on the black mat, which uh -huh. is hiding under here. Okay. Uh, there we go. So now we can see the difference where we've done that little bit of white work. Well, you actually really can, you compared can sort of see to the so other This lot, was the, the other side, where yeah. we started, and yeah. then you can see yeah. how it now starts to sort of build up. Uh, we are busy for the plates, by the way. Fourteen ninety nine. your price. A quarter of the stock has gone, and we've only really started looking at it uh, just a few moments ago. So there, the plate. You've got two different options. This is your A4 plate. Uh, so that's one option with the, uh, the design and theme, or you can get the two, so the duo, which we're showing you right now. Fifteen ninety eight, but there is a freedom price, taking them down to fourteen thirty eight eight one four seven one three item number. If you get all three though together, I mean, all the themes work. It, it, it does it. It's got that crossover, and you've got the various different sizes on mm. there. 
Um, and again, you just choose the various different yeah. elements on it. Lovely. Um, so then what I've done to apply the colour, I've used my um, Perga colour pens. Mm. Um, and I just chose three colours to keep it nice and simple. Nice. Um, and again, this was a tip that I got from Tina Cox about using the light panel when colouring in. Because what it does, it allows you to um, go right up to the edges and it's quite easy to see. Mm. So for example, if I go on here, I'm just going in a circular motion and I'm just going to fill in the arrow. Now it doesn't matter that I'm going over those white dots that I've embossed because the white work on the front um, will prevail and the, the colour sort of sits behind it. Mm. Okay, so you just light pressure. And what I love about the um, Perga colour pens, they're a water-based pen. Mm -hmm. um, they're dual tip, so you've got a really sort of like a bullet tip and then you've got um, a fine point as well, so you can really get into those areas. Yeah. So if I choose another colour, let's go with the, the yellow, which is more vibrant. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can see it's just a real nice colour blend. Mm. Parchment doesn't like moisture, so you do need to be careful with the pens that you're using. Yeah. Um, because if it gets too wet, mm -hmm. um, what it can do is buckle. Right. And once it's buckled, you so won't get anywhere. That's yeah. it, you've got to start again. Uh, we have got the Pergo colours on your screen right now, so they are very good pens and work beautifully with the parchment. Twenty-five ninety-four your price, you're getting all 30 of those pens. Phenomenal value. 339-657, your item number there. Okay. You know, you've got, you've created, and the illusion is to give that stained glass window It effect. is, yeah. yeah. And so it took me a little while to colour that in, but if I put a piece Look of that. white card behind it, yeah. you'll see it depends on what you put it on. Oof. So if I slide that in yeah, underneath and we look at that, you see, look, you see oh. how it's like a light coming on from behind, isn't oh, it? That is, that is profound. The impact, just putting some white paper behind, it, it just, really it does, does lift it. Yeah, so it's I'm going to use shining a, a piece of the Waimea Falls. If we okay. hold that up again, yeah. you'll see by moving it around how it changes it as well. Going on to the lighter, yeah. Okay, lovely. Okay. So what I've then done to, to finish the card off is so I've coloured it all in. That is um, stunning. It the really white is work, nice, but yeah. you can really see how that white work stands out. And that was probably about five layers of letting yeah. it rest, probably for an hour in between. And this is just one element, and that's why I love, yeah. love, love groovy. Um, and again, if you're not at that level of doing um, your white work yet, on the first Thursday of every month, yeah. um, starting in February again, we've got the yeah, Pokemon like show yeah. coming up. Um, so Barbara and I, do, and we're going to take you through step by step and sort of really concentrate on different techniques. Yeah. We've got some beautiful designs coming up as well. So, so we've for been a little for a bit year more, now. Yeah, we that. did Can it for a year that? last year. Yeah. Um, so we have January off uh -huh. and then we start again in February with the Pergamano okay. shows. Okay. So we can position that on there and we can decide whether we want to go more into the light area mm. and you'll see how it sort of just changes by moving it around. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's lovely. And what I've done is, I did, did actually do these, I pico cut these. Mm. So if we hold those up onto there, because we'll see that better. They've all been pico cut by hand. Wow. <laughs> that is nicely done. That was really therapeutic to yeah. do that. Um, and just okay. to go around, uh -huh. just to sort of finish that off. Um, and then you can decide on what the time needs to be. So you would do it so that the number 12 is at the top. Okay. Yeah. What time's your next show? The next time it's at four o'clock. Okay. So, so yeah, we'll put four we'll o'clock. Put that on there. And can I tell the time now? Um, four o'clock. There, there we go. go. So that one goes on Done. there. Whoops, just pop. And then just to finish it off, I've used on the um, plate mate that comes in the starter kit. Yeah. Let me just grab that here. We've on the you've got these little boxes, haven't mm -hmm. you? That we use. Yes. Um, that we can put our mm. letters in, the letter boxes. Seen some of the design team yeah. using those, yeah. So what I did, I took the plate, mm. one of the smaller plates. Uh, where's it gone? It's hiding on the counter. But what you can do, there we go, it's that one there. I took the outline of this mm. to create my little Same letter effect. boxes Perfect. so that it ties in perfectly that is with the design. That is very Okay, so that when I then want to personalise it, yeah. You'll see that that now ties in with the plate. So yeah, rather than have a that. solid box, I so it's just genius. using an element. 
cool. I didn't get many inspirations just for doing your sentiments. Yeah. I think that's phenomenal. So if you're going to craft shows and you're sort of personalising, you could have a series of these already yeah. done and then just fill them in. Perfect. Um, so when we look at the finished card, because I know time is really about to... Mm -hmm. Let's go. So to finish it off, what I've done, I've used the brads. We've got the Pergamano brads, and I've used the silver ones to attach it onto right. the card. Yeah. I put the little brad through the middle to create the pinpoint, mm -hmm. and then I've gone through those little flourishes, and you can see then how it all ties in. That is very. Do you know what I think is very clever about this as well, Paul? Because you get asked a lot, what's the best way to attach your yeah. parchment? And with glues, that's not a good look. Not really, see especially the with the pens. If you're using yeah. a wet glue, that colour can then run because it yeah. gets wet because they're a water-based pen. But here, you've integrated it and made it a feature, but also secured yeah. your parchment. And Very what clever. What I, I tend to try and do is choose my backing paper first yeah. before colouring in. Okay. Because it's easier to get a backing paper first and then, call and then choose your yeah. colours because you'll colour it the other way around. Yeah, and yeah. that's where the designer papers all came from because we spend yeah. hours colouring it in and then we didn't have a paper for it to work with. I think that is just a beautiful, beautiful inspiration and it is the tip of the iceberg. Thank you so much, Paul. I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Give it a go and that's the whole point. Look, what I would say, Paul and Barbara are passionate about getting you crafting. They've given you the tools and the education. Uh, but if you want to go for this plate, 30% of the stock has gone. Uh, $14.99 meal price there. We have got another set, a duo for you. Similar theme, so we're embracing the uh, theme of time. Here are your cogs and your pocket watch. $15.98 your price, but if you're a Freedom member, the price comes down. 814-713, your item number. What a great show. Really I enjoyed really it. enjoyed it too. Got so yeah. quick. I loved what you did with those little cogs. I thought nice. it was really nice. Yeah, it, it really just ties it, it all in. So take yeah. the idea of the little letter boxes. boxes. Yeah. Very clever. I mean, that's the thing about Groovy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You just pick a mix. You exactly. take what you want and you leave the rest yeah. behind. Yeah. Do you know what amazed me? You see the design team from one groovy plate, uh -huh. how so many different uh, yeah, directions they absolutely. can go in and how someone will see something that you wouldn't have thought of. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, what are you going to be showcasing to us at four? Me, I'm yeah. on uh, stamps and okay. jelly plate. Yep, oh, I'm going to do some more die cutting yeah. and some more groovy. Fantastic. We've got another phenomenal hour with Barbara and Paul at four o'clock and Clarity. So please tune in. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see anything as well, get in touch. Have a chat if you're wondering about something. Now, dyes are approaching 50% of the stock as Fabulous. well. Just everything is busy and it always is. Uh, it's been a pleasure. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the uh, earlier time as well for jumping in. I always appreciate that. Thank you for your company. Thank you.